Hi, babe, and welcome to my favorite splits routine, which I recommend doing for two weeks straight. So we've got nine different exercises, and we're gonna do interval style. So you can just follow along, and we're starting in three, two, one, let's go. Okay, we're starting with a low lunge. Let's just first get into the low lunge, and then we'll add the quad stretch. So step in with your right foot forward. Notice that my knee is right over my heel. My toes are flat down on the ground. If you need blocks underneath your hand, this is where I would do it. You could place it underneath your hand. And then if you're gonna add on to the quad stretch, you can just put the blocks inside of the foot and add them there. Now you're gonna reach around, twist, and grab for that foot. This is a really deep, deep hip flexor quad stretch. So give yourself patience as you move through this. As I said, I really recommend you repeating this video every day, at least for two weeks, and you're gonna notice yourself opening up every single time you do this video. Great work, make sure that you're breathing deeply in and out through your nose. <sighs> you're doing so good. All right, and let's transition to our next position. Stepping that foot forward, starting with the low lunge. You wanna think about pulling the navel in, even when you're stretching, because this is going to actually help open up your hip flexors and quads even more if you pull your navel into your spine, because then your tailbone is gonna slightly tuck down naturally. This is gonna help you get deeper into those muscles and get you deeper into your splits. Okay, now if you're gonna add on to the quad stretch, let's go ahead and do that now. If you notice, I'm going into a slight twist. So again, it's really important to keep the abs pulled in nice and tight to support the pose. All right, make sure that you're breathing in and out through the nose and the breathing in and out through the nose is going to signal to your muscles that it's time to relax now, that it's time to let go, that it's time to open up. Great job. Really find some relaxation here. See if you can enjoy the stretch. Okay, let's transition to our next position. Bringing the right foot forward into our pigeon pose. If you're feeling really tight, place a block or a pillow underneath your right hip or your right booty. Good, and then when you're ready, just go ahead and settle down into the pose. You wanna relax here, breathing in and out through the nose allowing the body to just completely give in to gravity. So gravity is really doing all the work. And you might begin to notice that your body's feeling more and more relaxed with each and every breath that you're taking. And scan your body from head to toe and your shoulders, relax them now. Your hips, relax them now. Hip flexors, it's all right to relax them now. Now is the time to let go, to go deep, to stretch, to open up. Good job. Keep holding about 10 more seconds. All right, and switch over to the other leg. Same thing right here. Now you see me pulling my foot forward. Now I am very open in my hips, so do not do that if that doesn't feel right for you. If you're tighter, you can keep the foot closer to your hip bone. Good, and then you can still relax forward. Again, take a scan through the body. Sometimes we're holding tension and we don't even realize it. So take a scan, starting in the head, the shoulders, relax them now. The back, the stomach, it's okay to release the stomach here. The hips, the hip flexors, the quads. Just give a nice signal to your body, telling it's okay to let go, to release, to open up. Letting go of the quads, the hips, breathing deeply in and out through the nose. About 10 more seconds right here. And slowly come out of that now. Let's reach forward into our forward fold. Now here it's more important to think about elongating through the spine first. And then when you do that and you feel comfortable, allow the head to be heavy. You can place a pillow or a bolster underneath your chest if you're feeling like you can't quite reach your legs yet and you can ease your way down. The biggest thing here, like the other stretches, is allow your body to release and let go. Let go of any tension in the hamstrings and just imagine those muscles elongating with each and every breath. Inhaling in through your nose, exhaling out through your nose. 
Every time you breathe, your muscles are getting more and more open, more and more flexible, and you're feeling your body release. All the tension is melting away. Great job. Let's transition now. Half splits pose. Now here, it's really important to think of the position of your hips. You wanna actually feel like you're pulling your tailbone up. So you're sticking your booty up slightly and then you elongate your spine and then from there you can reach your forehead down towards your knee. Good. So I'm putting my thumb there to remind myself to square off the hips. Good. Now and I'm adding a little twist here and if you want to go further you can. This is pretty deep and I'm just flexing and pointing my toe. I'm just really feeling into my body. It's just a really organic movement practice. So just allow yourself to feel into your body. Breathe. You can come back to the center now. Remember to feel like you're popping your booty up. Good. And now let's go ahead and go all the way down into our splits. Now you see I'm holding myself here on the hands. Now if you need to hold yourself up on the hands longer, go ahead and do that. Or you can even place blocks there and just slowly make your way down into the splits. There's no rush, right? There's no comparing. Remember that your journey is so special to you and your body. And you get to honor where you're at right here, right now. And wherever you're at, feel a sense of gratitude coming over and knowing that every single day that you come back to your mat, you're getting more and more flexible and closer to your goal of the splits. That's right, good job. Big deep breaths in and out through the nose. And if you'd like to take yourself forward, you can experiment with that and see what it feels like for you. And let's transition now. Half splits on the left side. Remember to feel like you're sticking your booty out and that'll help elongate your hamstrings. Many times people forget that step and then they wonder why their hamstrings are not getting any more flexible. And that's because if you keep your tailbone tucked under, you're not going to actually stretch your hamstrings. If you'd like to add this twist, go ahead and add it. It is really deep in the hamstrings and also in the IT band. And keep that heel pressed down into the floor. Keep the hips square elongate the spine use your breath to remind your body that it's okay and it's safe many times we hold on to tension in the body because the brain feels unsafe so if you use your brain the power of your mind and thoughts and the power of your breath to let your body know that it's okay and safe to relax then your body will release good now lower down into your splits use your hands remember no rushing no jerking it's just a nice, gentle stretch down. Really easy, flowing into it. You're doing so good. Remember that this is a practice, an everyday practice. Your journey is so unique and special to you. And I encourage you to honor your journey where you're at today, knowing that it's perfect for you. I like to close my eyes and just allow myself to connect to my body. Enjoy the sensations, whether they feel good or bad, I find a sense of joy no matter how they feel. Because I know this is how I get to open my body. Keep breathing nice big deep breaths in and out through the nose and I use my back toe to square off my hips even more. All right, and let that go. Make sure that you move nice and slow because you're really stretched out now. Beautiful work. Great, great job. I'm so proud of you for showing up on your mat today. Remember, you can include this workout as part of your regular routine, or you can join the rest of us stretchy babes by following a 30-day calendar inside of my Stretchy Fit app. Join my app for free today. I left the link below in the description box so that you can check that out. And then as always, make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe and support my channel and leave comments below. Let me know what was your favorite move of this workout and I will see you in the next video. Love you so much, bye.